the beat the clock handicap chase is next and we're always trying to beat the clock here get the comms in in time and the top one is pearly king for martin leader and jemima your camera for alex cherry and batonia who's for ryan costello and that's it it's a 0 to 85 that's why there's only three of the minute and again they're probably the only three qualified to run it they're off and racing and let's hope we don't have what happened in the race earlier where everything fell over otherwise we'll be commentating on jockeys chasing around the course looking for their horses but they get over the first and they all jumped over it nicely and Batonia Hughes is the earlier leader from Jemimaville Camera and then Pearly King so just the three then in this as they get down to the second and they're all safely over it there's been quite a few of these races this season where there have only been a few runs I think there's a race this week I think it's tomorrow on the flat where the last time I looked, I think Alex Cherry was the only one who got a horse in it. So, whether anybody else actually managed to get anything in it or not, I don't know. He may have a walkover win this week. I don't remember there ever being one of those since I've been commentating. So, obviously something needs to be done about the lower ratings of some of the races because we can't get any horses in. I looked at that race and couldn't get anything in it at all. So, I'm sure quite a few people looked at this one and the preceding race and wish they could get something in it but it's Batania Hughes who leads into the fourth from Pearly King second and Jemima Hill camera in third and 85 is a pretty low rating for a chaser so it's not really any wonder there's only three in it as they get over the next and they're probably all decent hurdlers these as well so Batania Hughes is the leader from Jemima Hill camera and Pearly King who are together as they come down to this ditch and over that one they go and Jemima Hill camera jumped it a little bit slowly I think Batonia Hughes would be the one who would be the most favoured to win because it's getting wiped from the other two but uh, doesn't necessarily work that way Pearly King top weight you'd expect it to be the best horse in the race wouldn't you so then you can put forward an argument for saying well Jemima Hill camera's got the best of both worlds so we'll back that one so out of this ditch then what we're basically saying is any of them could win and Batonia Hughes is the winner Batonia Hughes I suppose it's called really Jemima Hill Cameron is second and Pearly King is third the order hasn't been changed that much Pearly King and Jemima Hill Cameron have swapped places a couple of times but Batonia Hughes has been in the lead all the way they're already racing down towards the business end of the race they've only got four to jump and over that one they go and Batonia Hughes is well clear Jemima Hill Camera in second Pearly King back in third it's been a bit of a procession so far but now Jemima Hill Camera really attacked that fence and has jumped up sides but Sonia Hughes then has now come through to take it up then so they're racing down towards the final two fences and now we're going to get a bit of a race I think with Jemima Hill Camera from Batonia Hughes and then Pearly King trying to run on in third they've still got two and a half furlongs to race and they've still got two more fences to get over and it's Jemima Hill Camera on the outside in the orange sleeves from Batonia who's in the green and white they get a second Jemima Hill Camera right down on her nose Pearly King jumps it really well and is now coming through to challenge as well with Batonia who's back in the lead as they come down the final fence Batonia Hughes gets over in the lead from Jemima Hill Camera and Pearly King and it's Batonia who's the bottom weight that's clear the top weight Pearly King is trying to close but I think the weight will tell and Batonia Hughes is going to take this one pretty easily up towards the line but Tony Hughes is the winner Jim Pearly King second Jamari Hill Camera third and I think that might be the one and only running of a 0-85 chase in the S07 world I'm pretty sure that'll go up next season to a slightly higher rating as but Tony Hughes a 3-1 to one on favourite takes it for Ryan Costello Pearly King second for Martin Lidham and Jamari Hill Camera for Alex Cherry was third.